Observing and studying the complexities of space is likely a daunting job indeed. Considering the infinite stretch of mysteries that lurk beyond the reaches of even the most modern and powerful telescopes, attempting to solve even one of these mysteries is a process that could take years and is aided by satellites and the sharpest minds alive. The discoveries that we have made in recent years have still been incredibly monumental towards advancing our understanding of space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three new cosmic discoveries and what they showed us about the complex inner workings of the final frontier. We may have found the most powerful particle accelerator in the galaxy. One of the many aspects of space that has long puzzled scientists is the question of where exactly the most powerful of cosmic rays come from. These high-energy streams of electrons, protons or elemental ions are produced in a variety of ways and have varying energy levels. Generally, the higher the energy level of the ray, the more difficult it is to locate. Whereas scientists have documented the production of lower energy cosmic rays from such events as massive supernova explosions, the merging of stars and the suction of gas into a black hole, the provenance of the elusive higher energy cosmic rays has been much harder to pin down, leading astronomers to conclude that the source is likely located outside of the Milky Way. In fact, they estimated that cosmic processes within the Milky Way were only capable of producing cosmic rays with energy up to 1,015 electron volts, meaning that any particle accelerator stronger than that originating from outside of the galaxy would be producing rays over 1,000 times more powerful than the accelerators observable in the Milky Way. Until recently, researchers had no idea what such a massively powerful particle accelerator might look like. But, according to recent observations recorded by the High Altitude Water Cherenkov Experiment Observatory, it seems that a new and previously considered unlikely candidate for high-energy cosmic ray production could be nothing more than a large molecular cloud within our own galaxy. Previously, it had been so difficult to pin down the source of the most energetic of these faraway cosmic rays due to the tendency of the particles to veer towards the magnetic field generated by the Milky Way to such an extent that it was impossible to reliably determine where they came from. To circumvent this obstacle, the research team with the HAWC Observatory attempted to follow a breadcrumb trail of sorts through the galaxy in the wake of observed high-energy cosmic ray emissions. When the particles in these rays pierce interstellar gas clouds, a reaction occurs that releases gamma-ray radiation, which does travel in a straight and trackable line. The HAWC observatory contains several large tanks with ultra-pure water that flashes with a traceable blue light when contacted by radiation or high-energy particles, which allowed the team to locate the origins of gamma-ray emissions and then look for nearby high-energy cosmic rays. This method allowed them to identify the source of incredibly powerful gamma rays that could only have been generated by contact with immeasurably more powerful cosmic rays. In fact, perhaps the most powerful source of cosmic rays in the Milky Way. Almost invisible except by infrared telescope and downright boring as far as destructive potential or cosmic interest goes, it's safe to say that this cloud is one of the last places researchers expected to find the source of some of the most powerful cosmic rays in the galaxy. In fact, astronomers freely admit that they have no idea how this cloud could possibly be the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in the galaxy. For now, we must simply accept this news and wait for further studies attempting to explain this phenomenon to be conducted. Scientists document triple star system. Because the ability to peer deeply into space and record accurate measurements is a new technological advancement, there have not been very many instances where scientists have been able to track the progress of a celestial body across more than a few decades. Recently, a team was able to document the history of a triple star system called HS Hydra across 125 years which enabled them to come up with enough of a comprehensive history that they were able to predict the likely future of the system. 
The team was able to accomplish this by looking at the first ever observations of HS Hydra, which were recorded all the way back in 1893, when all that would have been visible was the twinkling of yet another star in the night sky. As technology advanced and we were able to obtain more detail about this specific twinkling star, it became very evident that this was a dynamic system with more than a few surprises in store. And now, scientists hope to be able to further unravel the mysteries of this system by employing NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which has previously been used to hunt for alien worlds but will now be turned towards the discovery of hidden mysteries within binary star systems and the three-star system HS Hydra. But what makes HS Hydra so special and mysterious? For starters, it stands out from typical dynamic binary star systems due to the simple fact that, in 2012, Astronomers observing the well-studied system with fresh eyes noticed that it was composed of three stars instead of two, and these stars blink in and out as eclipses viewable from Earth. Long before this fascinating fact was known, early astronomers were recording and immortalizing HS Hydra. In fact, the first images of it were taken in 1893 and had to be captured on glass plates that were changed out in the dark of night. From that point on, HS Hydra was frequently documented using both glass plate photography and logbook entries recording original observations from early astronomers. Today, even without including the glass plates whose images have been compromised over time, over 1,000 images and observations remain to include within the timeline of this system. The history is so complete that researchers working on the project even described it as a time machine telescope looking back into the past. Because of this amazing history that researchers and scientists were able to compile, we now have a thorough understanding of the history of HS Hydra, which will hopefully allow us to peer into the future of the three-star system using the observations of TESS. Never has such complete history been able to be observed, and astronomers are thrilled about the possibilities for research and knowledge that might lie within the mysteries of this system. TOI 178 Our own solar system is not the only example of a series of planets relentlessly orbiting a central star in our universe. In fact, there are hundreds upon hundreds of star systems with their associated orbiting planets, and those are just the ones that we have discovered and documented. One of these systems is located within the constellation Sculptor, which is a small, dimly lit bundle of stars in the southern sky. In the system, known as TOI-178, at least five planets orbit a central star, making up one of the longest chains yet discovered in a planetary system. This formation, which is just over 200 light-years away, is well studied by those seeking to understand the formation and evolution of planetary systems due to the brightness of its central star and the strange variations in the densities of the associated planets. The planets that make up the system operate under a chain of Laplace resonances, which refers to the periodic measurable gravitational influence that orbiting bodies exert upon each other, which is expressed as a ratio. Essentially, for every orbit made by one planet, a discrete and predictable number of orbits are made by each of the other planets. This rhythmicity also means that all six planets align at predictable times in their respective orbits. Resonance in general, but especially in systems such as this, likely plays a large role in the stability of the solar system and having a hallmark example close enough for intensive study is incredibly exciting to astronomers, especially considering that the outer five planets make up the largest resonance chain yet documented. Within the system, the planets themselves have also been of interest to researchers due to their wide variety of densities. The inner two planets have densities that are like that of Earth, while the outer four planets have much more gaseous densities and are comparable to Neptune and Jupiter. Although TOI-178 is rather one of a kind as far as planetary systems go, because we know there are so many systems that we have yet to discover and this specific system is located so close to Earth, astronomers believe that such a large configuration could be relatively common. Most of the information that we know about the system has been recorded by the European Space Agency's CHEOPS telescope 
and a telescope at the European Southern Observatory's Perennial Observatory. But scientists hope that much more information about TOI-178 will be brought to light as studies continue. By studying this well-illuminated system so close to Earth, researchers hope to shed some light on the details of planetary systems, both discovered and undiscovered, and increase their understanding of the laws of the systems to be found throughout the universe. But what do you make of these scientific discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.